This year, the global population passed 7 billion and continues to rise. It's putting enormous pressure on food resources worldwide. The potato is one of the world's most important crops and is central to global food security. Irish researchers like Dennis Griffin are continually working to develop new and improved varieties of one of Ireland's most iconic crops. The potato is a very, very uh, difficult crop to select. There are over 50 different traits that we assess uh, in, in the production of a new variety and it ranges from all the cooking and taste characteristics, disease resistance, shape, right through to maturity, the flesh colour, texture. It's very difficult to combine all of those traits into one discrete variety. Some of the biggest threats to potato plants are diseases such as blight, like the one that triggered the Great Famine in Ireland in the 19th century. Diseases like this are still very much a cause for concern, not just for Irish farmers, but for food growers worldwide. This is some late blight which has infected a potato seedling. And in crops which haven't been sprayed, the loss can be 100% if you get an early infection in the year. Our climate is, is particularly well suited towards blight. Now resistant varieties would have a lot to contribute in, in, in that context, in that varieties would last longer without fungicide applications, but also um, would need less applications of fungicide. Plant breeding is part art and part science, and the art part of it will always remain the same. But a lot more technology is available now in terms of molecular techniques and genetic techniques to identify traits of interest in varieties that can make selection more efficient in the future. As Dennis identifies new potato varieties, developments in genetic technology mean that his colleague, Dan Milborn, can help identify plants with disease-resistant traits at a much earlier stage. So how big a problem is potato blight and disease? It's still a huge problem. It's still the number one problem in potato production worldwide. So between control costs and crop losses, it costs five billion euro uh, to, to potato farmers worldwide. In Ireland, we've got the perfect climate for growing crops. We have some of the highest crop yields in the world, but the exact same conditions that allow you to achieve uh, high crop yields are the conditions under which uh, diseases like blight flourish. So one of the big science success stories of last year was the sequencing of the potato genome. Tell me about that project. For people like me, it was a very big deal. Um, a few years ago, it became apparent that sequencing technology had advanced to the point where uh, groups of uh, interested people can get together and sequence the genome of their favorite organism. So around 20 groups worldwide, 20 groups interested in the potato, uh, got together and decided that they would sequence the potato genome, so we were one of those groups. Researchers have now identified every gene in the potato. The results were published in 2011 and featured on the cover of one of the most prestigious scientific journals in the world. The next challenge is to identify the function of specific genes. So when you've done all of the sequencing, this is what, you've end, what you end up with. You could actually open the potato genome in a standard word processing package. I could hit the print button here and it would print out a stack of paper about 30 feet high. And so what we use is an in silico based approach. We use basically computers to find the genes for us. Some of the genes that we're interested in are a particular class of genes called R genes or disease resistance genes. And some of the genes you can see here, and genes here are represented as a simple rectangular boxes. So the practical challenge we face is to take this information and translate it into uh, disease resistant potato varieties through the Chagas Potato Breeding Program. Potato breeding has always been a long and involved process. Breeding a new variety could take from 10 to 15 years. But with this new technology, characteristics such as blight resistance can be identified much earlier in the breeding program. These new technologies are never going to replace entirely plant breeding, but they're going to make the process a lot more efficient into the future. The role of Chagas as an organisation is to benefit farming, and we're certainly not involved in the Potato Genome Sequencing Consortium because it's an academic exercise. It has a real practical benefit, which we're very focused on translating into the field for farmers. Food production itself is becoming much, much more difficult, much, much more important. Plant breeding plays a huge role in increasing yields, and it's going to be very, very important that we continue to increase yields in order to meet the demands for, for food into the future.